Where do Malaysians head on a hot day? Well, like people the world over, they usually hop in their car, they throw in a picnic basket, and they either head to the beach or they head to the national park or the mountains, somewhere where it's cool and refreshing. And today we've come outside of Johor Bahru in southern Malaysia, and we've headed to Kota Tinggi Waterfall, which is about an hour and a bit outside of Johor Bahru for a refreshing picnic and a dip in the water. Trish, Judy, and I have picked up some great little Malay treats in the city to bring out to our picnic today out at Kota Tinggi Waterfall. And the great thing is, when you buy stuff from the market here, it's all prepared and packaged for a picnic. Beautiful. So here you have nasi lemak that's wrapped in paper, but the underlying dish is actually wrapped in banana leaf. So you've got an instant plate that you can throw away. And that is actually one of the most common traveling foods, also a great breakfast food, which is made up of coconut rice, a bit of sambal, egg, the little anchovies, the dry crispy ones, and um, a touch of cucumber. So for Judy, you don't have to eat the chili part, okay? You can still eat the egg and the other. If you don't want it hot or if you want it savory, like we like it, you can eat the rest of it. But we got some other great things here too that are good carrying food for people who are on the, on the go, who are on uh, work traveling. Uh, here we have curry puffs. Malaysia, Judy is famous for the big curry puffs. Trish makes a lot of curry puffs at home. And uh, these ones are huge, as you can see. So they're, wow. they're filled with uh, curry chicken and vegetable. We've also got some mild uh, pao, as they call it here, for Judy. So it's not too spicy, it's the buns. We've also got some sweets. And uh, what we've got here is uh, this Quay one kochi. here. Kwe kochi. kochi, which is, uh, what's that, Trish? Uh, that's basically a, a glutinous, uh, black glutinous rice flour. And they wrap it in with uh, coconut, basket, basket of coconut with gula melaka and steam it. It's quite good. And this is one of my favorites. Yeah, kwe katayap. up. That's uh, basically like a pancake that's got pandan in it, Judy, the, the screw pine, and it's made it green. Yep. And they roll inside it shredded coconut and gula melaka. So it's actually quite yummy. But I'll show you on the inside. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That's she one of loves my favorites. That. She one loves. of my favorites. Sweet but not sickly sweet. Right? Yeah. It's sort of rich. And then onde onde, these are huge onde onde. They're basically a, like a glutinous rice that's got uh, brown gula malaka, brown sugar inside and rolled with coconut on the out. They kind of explode in your mouth, a bit too sweet for you, but we love them. Another typical treat down here. And for some fruit at the end of it, we've got some yellow rambutan, just a couple each. And yeah, we've got rambutan gladding. It's a new breed of rambutan. They're lovely. Normally they're red, so yeah. these are the yellow ones you get down here. And what's this last one? It's like a jackfruit, this fruit here. So a chumpada is a very local, uh, Don't open that, local Judy. fruit. And sometimes Pull. they eat it fresh like that, or they used to make dessert where they kind of deep fry in a batter. And the locals love it done that way. And it's a wonderful fruit. Quite sweet and creamy. Oh, yeah. So we're. Yeah, so we're going to dig into our little portable picnic lunch here, Malaysian style, and you can have a look at the waterfall while we dig in. We've had a great afternoon at Kota Tinggi Waterfall with a great Malaysian picnic. Next time you come down to this area of the world, make sure you get out of the city as well and go explore the beaches, the national parks, the jungles. There's so much to see and it's a nice refreshing change as well. I'm Spicy Steve on the Asian Culinary Trail at Kota Tinggi Waterfall in southern Malaysia.